Hi, I'm Ashley Meschke and I'm a product specialist here at Atlas Copco. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to retrieve results from the STR wrench. Now let's jump in. Before we begin, it's important to note that in order to view the traces of a fastening, the trace configuration must be enabled in the tightening program before the operation occurs. You will of course still get OK or not OK data for torque and angle, but the traces will be unavailable in the reports. Available traces can be identified with the icon in the results, which I'll be pointing out a little bit later. We can start by connecting the STR wrench to a personal computer using a USB-C cable and accessing its web GUI using the standard IP address 169.254.1.1. From the home page, click into the Reports tab and select Results. Here you will see the option to view all results. In the Results page, you will see all of the tightenings stored on the controller alongside the collected data for each. Not OK results can be easily identified by the red indication on the left-hand side of the table. Starting from the left, you can find the date and time of the tightening, and next to it is the tightening program column, which identifies the tightening program name or batch sequence name followed by the tightening program name within the batch sequence. Results are given for torque and angle, and in the event of a not OK, we're shown which requirement in the program the fastening failed to meet in both the limits column and the details column. The final column shown on the results page identifies the availability of a trace for that result with this icon here. By selecting this trace checkbox, the corresponding result will be shown in the sync trace result view. To view a trace, select a result with a trace icon to enter the trace results view of that fastening, which will show the step-by-step -step tightening life cycle for that result. You can see that in the event of a not OK, the trace result view will show which monitor or restriction that caused it. Another really nice thing about the trace view is how user-friendly it is. In the upper right-hand corner, you have the option to switch between different graph views depending on what you want to see regarding torque, angle, and time. You also have the ability to zoom in or out on the graph, recenter it, and zoom in on the trace itself to easily read the x and y axis values on a specific point. And this is how you retrieve the results from the STR range. If you do have any questions, feel free to reach out to Product Marketing. Thanks for watching.